Welcome to Electro Online, and here's our third video on what we call the UBV, UBV photometry. And notice again, just as a summary, we have three filters that we use, a filter that predominates through uh, what we call ultraviolet radiation, centered around 364 nanometers. The blue filter predominates through blue, blue light, and not so much the rest of the visible spectrum or UV spectrum, centered around 442 nanometers. And the V stands for yellow uh, green filter or visible light filter, predominantly centered around 540 nanometers, which is the, the wavelength that our eyes are most sensitive to. And then when we look at the light of a particular star in the, with the three different filters, and then we calculate the ratios of the intensity of the brightness coming through to us, we can see that for Bellatrix, we have a very low ratio between, and this should be, yeah, the ratio between the visible light coming through and the blue light coming through, because much of the spectrum is shifted towards the blue and the UV radiation. So when we have a small ratio between the visible light brightness versus the blue light brightness, we know that it must be a very hot star in this case, Bellatrix at 21,500 te uh, surface temperature in Kelvin. We take Sirius, for example, the ratio is exactly one to one. In other words, we have the exact same brightness at the visible light spectrum compared to the blue light spectrum, which means that it's shifted towards the left band of the uh, visible light spectrum, and therefore we know the surface temperature is 9,500. And then finally, as an example, the sun, which has much larger brightness at the visible light spectrum compared to just the blue light spectrum, and therefore we know that it's a cooler star with a surface color of about yellow star, and the sun at a temperature of about 5,800 degrees. Now, if we put a lot more stars in there, you can see that we come up with this very nice curve right here, and so that makes it really easy in the future to look at any star, find the ratio in the brightness of visible light to blue light, find the location on that curve, and then we have the associated surface temperature along with that, and the specific color that that star is at. So, that's how we use what we call UBV photometry. We use the three filters. We look at the brightness of the star at the, with the three filters. We do the ratios, not just visible to blue, but also blue to UV radiation. And from that, we can pretty well nail down the exact temperature and the exact color of the star. And that's how we do that.